Neural Solutions has made it easy in creating and using neural networks in real world situations. Today we're going to be working with an example data set from the UCI Machine Learning Repository for breast cancer detection. Let's go ahead and get started by launching up the tool that we'll be using for today's demonstration called the Neural Expert. The Neural Expert makes creating neural networks as easy as answering a few simple questions about your data set, such as in the first panel where it asks you what type of problem do you want to solve. Today we're going to be performing a classification problem on the breast cancer data to determine whether the sample is benign or malignant. Next we need to locate our data set and open it in the Neural Expert. Press next to continue. For the input columns we need to deselect the first three columns as it is the patient's ID and then the actual desired output which is the diagnosis. Press next to continue. None of our selected input columns contain textual information so we can actually bypass this next panel. Our desired data is the same data set so we can simply click the option use input file for desired file and click next to continue. Our only desired output columns is the diagnosis so we can deselect the ID column and press next to continue. Neither of these columns contain textual information so we can leave the default selected and press next. Again we can leave the default settings for the level of generalization to the default of normal of 20 percent cross-validation data and we also want to set aside the default amount of 20 percent of out-of-sample data. For this particular problem we're going to leave the genetic optimization turned off to help speed up the training process along with creating a low level of neural network complexity. Click finish to continue. When you click finish the neural expert automatically creates the neural network breadboard along with graphical representations of the mean squared error and two confusion matrices for the training and cross validation data sets. So let's go ahead and train the network. So in roughly three seconds time we have a trained network with pretty good results. Over the cross validation set we can see that it detected 100 percent of the malignant diagnosis and it accurately detected 97.64 roughly of the benign diagnoses. But now let's see how it performs on truly out of sample data. So to test on that out of sample data we're going to click on the test button which brings up the testing wizard. By clicking on the testing button on the breadboard itself it has already loaded the input and desired files according to the testing data set. We can simply display this information in a window and click finish. So we can easily look at the training active confusion matrix which accesses the current active data set which is currently the, the out of sample testing data and you'll see that on the out of sample data set it classified the diagnosis for malignant at 100 percent and the benign at roughly 95.45 percent correct. This is just an example of how easy it is to get started in Neurosolutions with real world data.